we are at the ultimate racetrack in India. With the ultimate Indian race driver. With the ultimate production track car. To break the ultimate lap record. So we are back again at the Buddh International Circuit and we are back again with Naren Karthik and hi Naren, how are you? Hi, you're Good to have you back. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, Naren is going to be driving this, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which is the most extreme 911 Porsche has ever made. It's really, really quick, especially around a track. And we're going to be breaking a lap record, Naren, set by you in the GT2 RS. Obviously, it's not about power with this, it's about the aero wizardry, which everyone knows. Just look at all the aero bits over here and that massive wing. So clearly, but a uh, little bit nervous, do you think you can do it? Yeah, as you said, Hormaz, the GT2 RS has a good, you know, 200, nearing 200 horsepower more than the new GT3 RS. But having said that, you know, this car has tons of downforce. It's almost, it's a, the best track machine you can, you know, money can buy. And, you know, it is, if this doesn't do it, I don't know which would. Well, let's get down to business or let Naren get down to business. And let's see how much he can squeeze out of that car. And can he go below the two-minute barrier? Because really, that's what we're aiming to do. Naren, best of luck. Thank you. The truth is, we weren't exactly brimming with confidence as conditions were not optimal. Turn 5 is now tighter after being reconfigured for the MotoGP and the markings defining the track width and track limits hadn't been redrawn back for cars. And the track's been unused for a while so it doesn't have much rubber on it and that means grip is low. Narain is now 47 and let's not forget he stopped racing two years ago. He hasn't been to the boot circuit since his last record-breaking run in the 911 GT2 RS. The first job at hand was to find the perfect setup. Tire pressure is of course crucial, but what do you do when you can adjust torque vectoring, damping rates, traction control, 9 E-Diff settings and even the active rear wing. That's a bewildering number of combinations to play with. We just went with the recommendations from Porsche Motorsport and left Narain to do the rest. Any doubts that Narain is too old or rusty were blown away with his first flying lap. Narain immediately gets to grips with the GT3 RS and ducks into the 201s. Down the long straight, Narain is braking later and later, well beyond the 100 meter mark. Downforce has spinned the 911 GT3 RS to the tarmac and through the long D Narain's pulling 155 Ks. 
You know Narain's committed when he takes the super quick turn 14 flat out without lifting off. This is a car that needs to be driven with surgical precision and Narain is as neat and tidy as he can be. The sound of the screaming Porsche Flat 6 reverberating through the empty grandstands is just awesome. My stopwatch says mission accomplished and race control confirms the time. 1 minute 59.854 seconds. We have a new BIC lap record for a road legal production car. So what was it like? So tell me, Naren, how did you go faster in a car with 200 horsepower less? I mean, the new 911 GT3 RS, um, the 992 version of it, has a lot of downforce. I think that is the key to the lap time. Of course, you give away 25 kilometers on the straight compared to the GT2 RS. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's mightily fast in the corners because it nearly produces 800 kilos of downforce and that's near half the weight of the car so you know it just sticks so we've been talking about the aero uh, clearly that's the hero of this car but uh, engine uh, four liter flat six 525 horsepower really not very powerful i think they've maxed out what they can do with the engine but still the engine is a jewel in itself in the way it revs isn't it i mean 9000 rpm uh, must be absolutely madness yeah it, it is it is the sweetest sounding engine uh, you know i've ever driven on so really this is in a way, uh, Porsche, the fastest production car uh, that there is really. I mean, it timed on, on a lap and on not just a lap, it's on the boot circuit. But I think uh, we have a bit of a surprise. It's like the icing on the cake. I shouldn't use the word ice because it's not ice. It's actually an EV and we have done something else. We have set the fastest lap for a production EV with this, the Taycan Turbo S. The Taycan is a completely different animal to the GT3 RS. It's got 750 horsepower, over a thousand Newton meters of torque, but it's also 1100 kilos heavier than the GT3 RS. The all important tire pressures are set, but there's not much else to play with. The default setting is Sport Plus and the traction control completely off. Battery topped up to 100%, Narain exits the pits. The Taken Turbo S flies past the start-finish straight in a swift and silent whoosh. It's such an anti-climax after the 911 GT3 RS. We can tell Narain's on a fly by the shriek of the tyres. There's no engine sound to drown out their anguished protest. Taken Turbo S accelerates down the straights much faster than the GT3 RS, but loses through the corners. Unlike the raw and edgy GT3 RS, the Taken is a baby to drive.
finally a shattering lap time of 2 minutes 10.313 seconds for a 2.8 ton car that is absolutely phenomenal and an EV record that won't be beaten in a hurry. So the Porsche Taken Turbo S sets a production EV lap record at the Bud International Circuit and it's right up there on the scoreboard or on the timing board. Two minutes, 10.313 seconds. That ain't, <laughs> I mean, much slower, about over 10 seconds slower than the GT3 RS, but uh, a crazy car, isn't it? I think the acceleration was something I mean, else. The acceleration was incredible. <clears throat> the car weighs, you know, 1,000 kilos more than the GT3 RS. So you have a lot of mass you carry around. But uh, in the corners, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I switched off the traction control and it uh, feels like um, so nimble and the rear is easily, you know, steps out quite easily. So from fun factor, it's, you know, up there. This car really surprised you, didn't it? Yeah. Massively, you know, with the GT3 RS, with all the new, you know, aero parts, we, you know, we, we knew we would be close uh, to the lap record, but this car was uh, a big surprise. Well, so that's it. Uh, two lap records, one for an ICE, a good old naturally aspirated internal combustion engine, which set the fastest production car lap and the fastest production car lap for EV. Both cars are absolutely factory standard. There are no special tweaks to the suspension, the engine, the exhaust system or even the electric motor. And making sure cars conform to showroom spec and safety requirements is the FMSEI, the Indian Motorsport Body, which gives real legitimacy to our records. Federation primarily is, is looking at trying to make this as professional and safe as possible. So. Uh, being an affiliate of the FIA, there are like clear guidelines which say how you're supposed to attempt a record. So we try and uh, you know, conform to those guidelines and try and make sure that all the detailing is in place. We have the extrication vehicles, we have the fire vehicles, we have the medical vehicles and people. So backing your attempt professionally, making sure that it's done right. But what's so special about setting records at the BIC? This circuit is hallowed ground. It's a place where champions have raced and history has been made. With Formula One and MotoGP coming here, this circuit symbolizes the pinnacle of motorsport in India. It was excellent to see a Formula One driver driving on a Formula One track and doing, uh, we, I enjoyed personally, we all, my team enjoyed seeing him driving on this track and having good fun. We know it's very safe, it's secure, and he's enjoying the new uh, layout of the track. And uh, I had a time to you know, have a brief chat with Narain. He was loving it. And that's why he could do this track uh, record again. Records are meant to be broken and we can't wait to keep setting new lap records. But for now, on a racetrack, Porsche, without a doubt, is the fastest ICE and EV brand.